Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Oh, isn't this a beautiful resource stream? Just everything going all over the place. It might be the source of our lag. But, yeah, that's just the price you pay for progress. So, we have a couple of items on the agenda today. First of all... I'm going to uh, be letting the steel build up just a little bit more. I haven't run the game at all since I shut it off last night. And uh, we're gonna let that build up to the point that we can build another diesel generator. And also, I think it's time to start building some more thermionic fabricators and get some, uh, get a little bit of silicon automated, a little bit of those circuit plates. These thingers over here. <clears throat> Because I need them for comparators, and I need comparators for a bunch of things. So, to make that, we're going to need infused silicon, which is red silicon compound. So, that's already three thermionics we're going to need. Four. Unfortunately, that's not really valid. Five. Six. And we're also going to need sandstone, which... That obviously isn't the recipe we're going to use. We're going to use something like this. And for that, yeah, we're going to need like seven thermionic fabricators. So what's the recipe for this thing? It's not terribly complicated other than just uh, the heavy engineering blocks and the casing. So thankfully, last episode, we built, we poured out a whole bunch of uh, materials for a whole bunch of casings, at least. Let's just... See if we can chuck that into the bag real quick so that we can move. And just bring it on over to our wonderful machine and see how many casings that'll give us. We're also probably going to need to chuck in some more electrum and steel and other such things in order to make more heavy engineering blocks. Yes. Mass is so inconvenient. But a bunch of electrum, a bunch of jungle wood for the pistons. Hello, Blood Devon. Always lovely to see you here. How you doing tonight? I'm just uh, working up the base materials for our next big machine. Where was the... Ah, there. Yes, this machine could possibly be a little bit simpler. But just like that, we throw that all in there. And that should be creating us some casings. Cool. Yeah, um, I hear you, man. If they don't have the political power to grab your guns, then they're just going to try and stop you from using them by any other means. That's just how it goes. Alrighty then. And I don't think it should need any more steel mechanical components, really. Oh, but I might need to make some more just in order to... Uh, yeah, just in order to bulk it out. I mean, eventually I'm obviously going to want to create full automation for all these parts, but uh, in the meantime, let's just grab some of our wonderful automated steel. We're out of chests, of course. Yeah. So good. There's only two guys that make it, but it's really cheap. How does that work? Are they just good guys who, who don't overcharge despite having a monopoly? Or do you just mean it's only two guys making it locally to you? Huh. Well, let's get some more wood a-flowing... We need lots more wood planks. Come on. There we go. Yeah, 
But yeah, there's just a few chests for me to use. Grab and redstone block. Because yeah, I think chests at the front of all the silos for more easy access is uh, is definitely more convenient. And it makes the lighting so dramatic. But yeah, let's just uh, let that fill up and then we'll grab some steel and platify it. I should have some to use in the box anyway. Yeah, just a stack of it. Just chuck that in. We'll get that transformed over. Just easy as you pleasey. And do I have any steel plate pre-made anywhere? Eh, a little bit, but I think I want to hold on to that for crafting purposes. Okay, how are you doing, machine? It's doing okay. It looks like it looks like it uh, concentrated on making the heavy engineering blocks, which is what I wanted to do. To be fair. Alrighty then. I think we are kind of... Well, no, we have tons of tin gears to make more bronze. So bronze isn't really going to be something that goes short anytime, uh, anytime uh, critically. Hmm. Well, I, I guess... Uh, I guess that it's... It's cheap but not plentiful. That's an unusual mix. I hope you get your hands on some, because uh, a classic girl like that deserves to be taken on a date. All right. And I guess that... Eh, no. Let's, let's make the steel components first. Well, that'll be a moment... The other thing I want to do, though, is I do want to get going on maybe making a um, a smeltery just for making liquid glass to run to all my thermionics. Oh, the lag is getting bad. I probably need to play with my settings sooner or later. But where is my compressed sticks? I'm out of compressed sticks. Okay, that's an easy fix. Just grab one of these, do this to it. And... Seven, eight, that'll make me the four tinder. In order to get going on another small tree. We're also going to want to get some sear brick going and put those chests away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, just another eight stack of these just to make some more... Make some more seared brick. Maybe I should automate furnaces at some point. Because we end up constantly making more of them. And not that constantly. And it's kind of only now when we're in this kind of intermediary phase where we're where we're building more infrastructure all the time. Eventually eventually we'll pass the point where more smelteries is no longer quite so convenient. Let's see here. Yeah, eventually we'll have all the resources automated. We'll have everything that we need alloyed in mass automated. And then I probably won't need any more smelteries. Eventually. Alright, have I got another stack of wood planks yet? Sweet. Might as well make more chests, because we can never have enough of those. And let's get going on making those furnaces. So, we just need to 
make 28 bricks. Like so. And then assemble them like so. That's step one, nice and easy. Next, we're gonna need 16 refractory bricks. Just like this. And just a little bit of iron to throw onto there too. We'll just grab like a stack of it. As well as a stack of cobble, which I should have some in storage. I mean, immediate storage. Yep. And there is furnaces. Sweet. Now we turn that into seared heater, which we turn into melter, which we then turn into a smelter. Yeah, it's it's an involved process, but not an overly complex one, I don't think. Ah, right, seared stone, cool. Well, I don't think I'll need much in the way of seared brick. So let's very carefully melt down just the dirt into... Turn that off pulse. And even with signal on it, it shouldn't pour out immediately, should it? Cool. Okay, I'm getting... I'm getting behind the mind of how this system works now. Now, unfortunately, when we start pouring on this, yeah, it will keep on pouring because it has constant signal now. Hmm. You know, I suppose I could just take the... take the connectors off, but nah, that would be more of a bitch to reconnect. We'll just accept that it'll make a few bricks by accident. Yeah, it's not too bad when it's only these two tables, too. And it's easy enough to uh, get the behavior corrected. Just kind of need to uh, do a little bit of dramatic reconstruction. And the rest of that we want in block form, unless we don't have good change. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'll just accept that I'll need to reconstruct the basin at one point or another. Alright, so there's 12 dirt. They'll take just two stacks of bricks. And let's get a building. So, first step. Need to turn furnace into heater. Also going to need a little bit of glass. I said I'm going to need a little bit of glass. Get in there. And then we make a fuel tank and a crafting tank. We are going to need two drains as per usual. I mean, technically, if I built it smartly, I'd only need one, but I, I'm not going to trust myself to be smart. And then we just dupe and dupe, then dupe and dupe. And I think that is really... Ah, no, I'm going to need a bunch of casting tables. Yeah, we're going to need casting tables for every single thermionic fabricator. The good news is we don't need any casts, though. We just need casting tables, as well as hoppers, which was why I was building these chests. Because we're going to need a good butt-ton of hoppers. Okay, so that should be at least a few more crafts of those worked. And just grab those. Grab. I need to make some more tool rod tier twos pretty soon here, I think. But that'll be just in a hot moment. So 
Hopper. Sweet. How many hoppers do I have in total now? Eh, not enough, really. And how's this doing? I probably am going to need to make more... Yeah, I'm going to need to make more bronze blocks in order to get more casings, definitely. But I guess in the meantime, I can work with what I have. So for that, I'm going to need 20 heavy engineering blocks, I think. Let's see, thermionic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. And that's tin. Hmm. Do I have tin ingots anywhere? I should have a few. Mm, the emphasis on a few. Hmm. Well, I have actually a good supply of tin ore. I could melt that. Hello, Prince. Uh, at the moment, I am working on making a um, making some automated thermionic fabricators to make me some silicon because I want comparators. I'm also uh, last episode I made an automated steel smeltery, and my thermionic project is just uh, letting that build up some steel blocks for me so I can build another diesel generator. So those are my two projects today. I'm making. I'm, I'm going to attempt to make silicon and uh, circuit plates for comparators, and I'm going to attempt to make another diesel gen and the infrastructure to support it. But hello, welcome. Thank you for stopping by, Prince. Always good to see you here. How you doing, man? You feeling a, a bit less pressure on you now that you're not filming every last instance? Of, uh, of the game. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm gonna need a butt-ton of tin. You know, I think I'm gonna turn the... Block caster off for a little bit. And in fact, I'm going to, uh... Smalt down... This... And we'll cast some ingots. These are on ingot cast, right? Right, cool. Yeah, we might as well. That tin ore is doing us no good sitting in a box. So we really might as well just use all of it. That gold ore too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That copper ore is eh, less useful now. Hmm. But we shouldn't be holding on to ore. Not unless we know we have a use for ore specifically. Well, that's that's wonderful news, man. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Invest yourself into a good flash drive. See if you have like if you can bring it to a friend's house, if you can bring it to like some place with good public internet. If you can if you can just get it to somewhere that you can upload it, you know? That'll probably help you out a whole ton. Okay, and I was checking on this to see if it had anything more, which it doesn't just yet. Right, because it needs those steel mechanical components for the heavy engineering blocks. But that is easily resolved if the game will not lag spike on me. So uh, last last I checked in on your game, you were pretty competitive where, where I am. Uh, how is your base doing, uh, man? Like, um, have, you, have you reached... I've been bumming around in Chapter 5 still. Yeah, I know. I know. And, uh, yeah, I'm bumming around in Chapter 5 for a long time trying to automate a whole lot. Because I want that infrastructure in place. And I didn't see a whole lot in Chapter 6 that would help me out, like, uh... That would be worth gunning for before getting it all, you know? So I was just like, well... Why not just build it now? Why not have the system in place, you know? But yeah, it feels wonderful just having a box of steel that's magically filling up right now. Alright, and there we go. 
And that should make me, yeah, that should start making heavy engineering blocks again. Cool. Oh, are we down to seared stone again? Looks like it. So we can turn that off. And unfortunately, the pulsar is still, yeah, it, it still kind of is uh, messed up. What's going on down there? The hopper just failed utterly for some reason. Okay, but we can just... There we go. And that temporarily resolved the issue. Where is... Where did they go? Have they already... Oh, I guess I had them in my pocket. Cool. There we go. Ah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, I'm staying in chapter 5 for a for a darn sight longer than I could. I could rush to the end of the chapter pretty easily right now. But I want the stuffs. I want the stuffs. Alright, and... Uh, yeah, let's get the gold cast out too. Just because I can always use gold. And what the heck was I doing before I got sidetracked? I was working on those thermionics. Right, 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 right. So, take a bunch of tin. Uh, do I have enough glass to just make them? Maybe. I'm going to need some of those chests that I was building. And that should be gold. It does need gold. Well... Look at what we just did. And then we just... Yeah, that looks... Five thermionic fabricators in our pocket. Sweet. Let's see what we can do with them. Now... How to start setting this up. What is the first step in the process of making those circuit plates? And more importantly, where are we going to want to set the system up. So, we're obviously going to be using sand and coal quite a lot. I think those are the... I think that those are the uh, primary two ingredients in this recipe. Am I out of pipes? Hmm. Automating the fabricators? I'm, I'm not fully automate... Oh, oh, you mean... Um, Getting getting the circuit plates and stuff like that up on Autocraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, fully automating the thermionic fabricators is why I have smeltery parts in my pocket. I'm going to make a glass smelter that's going to be feeding them. Um, d -d 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 what is so heavy in my pocket? It must be this gold. Yeah, that did it. Let's put that away. Alrighty then. So, 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 so. Oh, out of space. Cool. So, uh, pipe. I was after some gold pipe. Right, right, right. There we go. Alright, so, oops. So, we're obviously going to want it to be a little bit ways past our, um... Yep, well, I technically have infinite sand right now. I am... Um, it's it's not even pseudo-infinite like with a uh, silt excavator. I made a monstrous crushing assembly that's making me sand out of cobblestone. Sand, gravel, and clay, in fact. Because of the centrifuge recipe. All right, so how far down are we going to want to run this? Quite a ways, probably. Like, not that far. But I do think I want to leave some space on the side of the uh, auto artisan because I'm eventually going to want to uh, finish all the automation for all the basic engineering blocks on it. So 
I think I'll make it like right here. Leave roughly one square of space on there for it. So we'll start this over here. And we're going to need our gates, of course. We're going to need lots of pipe wire, more pipe wire than this. And I'm going to need at least one pulser. So you are going to say, on blue signal, you're going to say when you less than 50% emit blue signal. Now I just need to run and get some more wire. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why... When I first made my lava machine, the pollution was being sucked out of the line of the crucibles with that one chimney, but it looks like it isn't anymore, and I don't know why. It's not a huge deal. The We're, we're not using lava at a tremendous rate, and the crucibles don't produce a whole lot anyway, but it still bothers me. In any case, run blue wire down the line. All the way. And then gate and pulser. Gate says wind blue signal pulse pipe, and that'll start getting our buffer chest down there filled up. We're also going to want to do the exact same thing for our coal line. So just start running that down. I might need more gold pipe. Nope. I have a goodly amount, it turns out. And where did all my, ah, there they are. Um, That is not that much, it's more than you think because A, the chest in the front is full and B, the uh, the system was only turned on very recently, remember? So it's building up. We are producing coal at a pretty prodigious rate. It'll fill up fast. Uh, regardless. Regardless. So let's just put it like one or two, sp yeah, just one space past right here. On to there. Oops. And same deal with you. Blue pipe wire, less than 50%, emit blue. And down the line we go. There's kind of a stutter step that you get used to laying long lines of straight pipe where you're kind of fluttering your finger over the walk button. Because if you just walk at full speed, you won't place down pipe. But if you kind of, uh, if you just kind of do that, then you usually get it with no problem. All right, so we have sand, we have coal, and really that's all we need to start making some circuits. And yeah, I do think that I want to, in fact, run it past all our production lines too, don't I? Yeah, well, maybe, maybe not. <sighs> I mean, it would break up the main bus if I didn't do it. So yeah, we need to run it under the base, I think. And just get our machines kind of closer to in line. So... Extraction pipe down there. And let's just kind of run straight over here until we're kind of in line with where our other machines are. This looks like a good-ish place. 
yeah, more gold pipes. I, I definitely think that once we have our next, uh, our next, our next diesel gen up, then maybe, uh, maybe the gold, no wait, that's not it. Then maybe an excavator on gold is the next one to go for. All right, and we'll just put a buffer chest right here because we're going to be running sand at least to a couple of different machines, I think. Or are we? Let's see here. Circuit plate. Let's see here. That's largely using silicon. Which uses that, which uses that. Which uses sandstone, and that which uses sandstone. Okay, so it only needs one on sand. It only needs one on sand. So, actually in that case, I think I'll just run it up here. Maybe one more space. And then we'll put it like right there, maybe? So that I can have a wooden hopper pulling out of it constantly. Hey there, Fox. How you doing? Pipe plug on it. And that one will be... I think we'll just do this to 25% on the west side. Then... Emit blue. And I already need more blue pipe wire. I'm probably also going to need another stack of gold pipe in that case. Yes, the gang's all here. Wonderful night. Good to see you all. And to Austin, really, uh, thank you for adding my name to the list of uh, JBTA playlists on the CurseForge page. That is, uh, I I'm, I'm honored. Thank you. I wasn't expecting you to get a mention on there until I actually, you know, got done or something like that. All right. And where is... Let's just make that many. And... Oh, well. It's a wonderful pack and I'm pleased to be playing it. And, uh... Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that before too much longer, I'll have you sing more than a hundred episodes in the playlist, and then more than a hundred and fifty, and eventually, eventually, I'll I'll be the uh, one you say is the completed playlist. Eventually, yeah. Let's let's smelt two stacks just for luck. Alright. Get on in there, you. Yeah, that's more than enough. I'm impatient tonight. And... Get me... Yep, there we go. Alright, so... Gonna need to run pipe under the base here into Spaghetti Land from wherever we made that new machine, probably like over here somewhere. And we're gonna need to. <laughs> if uh, if a pack isn't swear inducing, then it's just not making you think. A little bit of frustration is just a sign that that you have something that is actually worth doing, you know? I mean, yeah, an occasional little bit of power fantasy. Something like in all the mods or something that like starts you off with with um with like 
stupid amounts of power. That's nice every once in a while, but I don't think that really has any lasting appeal, you know? Oh, wait. I have the blue on that side, don't I? Eh, it doesn't matter. It do not matter. So, you are going to need a pipe pulser. Yeah, I know. I mean, there's lots of there's lots of logistics pipes in the game. I guess that Billcraft was feeling like it didn't need to compete anymore or something. I don't know. I don't know, man. All right. Stupid freaking hypothermia. Turn it back daytime. I don't even know if daytime helps. It seems to. Get some tinder down. Just while we're in the area working. And start running that line. Wait, did I turn off the block caster on the smelter? I think I did. And did I remember to turn off the ingot caster? I don't know if I did. Okay, block caster is off. And the smelter is empty. Shoot. Well. That's just how it goes every once in a while. We'll just melt these back down. It's no big deal. That'll just take but a moment. And we don't have a super... I don't think I need to build a super big smeltery for this. These thermionics won't be running like super duper all the time, and they don't use a super duper amount of glass. But just being able to make something that should be able to supply everything in future proofing is a good general, a good general philosophy, I think. So let's get that going once more. And you guys, ah, right. Turn the dang pulser off. That would be helpful too. Yeah, I really need to figure out how to get that thing unjanked. The fix that I built last time should have worked. I'm not quite sure why it didn't, but I'm not super good at redstone. Especially not when you're overcomplicating it, which I am. Okay, just get that going. Come on. That probably is just a good amount, you know? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, having the carpenter as a crafting table did make me have to think of how to... Uh, of how to supply items at ratio using build craft logic. I guess that in civilization, wait, civilization is 1.12 still, isn't it? So yeah, that can also have build craft. Hmm. In any case, let's at least finish the, finish the supply line to this first thermionic. Now that we've got the, uh, the system printing us some bricks again. I'm gonna need yet more blue pipe wire, as always. Might have to switch to using white. I think I'm out of lapis. No, if I switch to white, that's just gonna get me confused with the wool line. Yeah. Well, here comes the sand. Remember that that one is a trap now. I really need to take that access way out and put it somewhere more convenient. Shoot. Uh, 
Okay, so here comes sand, and we can just make a pattern for this, like so, and that should be automatically producing sandstone eventually. And then we need to put an hopper over here with an casting table on top of it. I mean, it's not running super well. It's running at like 20 FPS max. It, it's not, it's not super good. It's not super good. And we're also gonna need to figure out how to get power down to here. I don't think I'm going to make like a uh, full on a full on uh, pass through on this. I'm just going to just going to poke a hole. Hmm. There's probably going to be a couple of tables in this area. Maybe I'll put a relay like right here. Yeah, that might work. Get it to a couple of places. It's not great, though. It doesn't feel good, I'll tell you that. Especially when it's getting far below 20. Yeah. Almost. I need to... Minecraft is just a horribly optimized game, and I am doing horrible things with it regardless. Okay, that corner is going to be a little bit difficult, I think, getting it around the lava pipe. So let's be merciful to it. And then maybe run it down to, like, here. And then I can kind of just... There. Hmm. It makes me wonder why the modding scene didn't really... Hasn't seemed to have really embraced Bedrock Edition. Is Bedrock just still horribly optimized? Is it just that not as many people are using it? Even though I think now... Everyone on Java should have bedrock as well, shouldn't they? Okay, clearly. You have power. Now all I need to do is build that smeltery so that I can get liquid glass to it. So, how are we doing on blocks? We got more than a stack. That's fine. That is good enough for me for the moment. So, before I forget, let's just make it pretty real quick, just for the sake of it. Boop. And then into the bag you go so that I'm not limping. Yeah, there are mods for Bedrock Edition out there. Even some of the standard ones. Um, I think that Thermal Dynamics has been ported to Bedrock. There's supposedly a couple of outright mod packs for it, just not as many as you'd normally think. All right, I need to... I'm probably going to need to poke a hole in through the top because I'm never going to find the sand otherwise. And over here. I think I'm just going to run it off the bottom. I think that if I just put the pipe here, it'll be fine until I can get under there and plug it. Because that should just be linked up to the clay pipe. So it won't bother nothing. Just over there. And we even have a convenient little thing on the floor to help guide us in. How lovely. And put plug right there. And I think I might just build my smeltery right here. And that's not a super convenient position for it. I could, like, I'm definitely going to build it on this level, I think. So maybe, like, right 
here-ish. Well, maybe a little bit closer in this direction. Yeah. True. Java was kind of already the thing. It's the language everyone knows. Okay, let's just make this kind of nice and wide. Make it a nice, sizable chungus. Maybe fit it between... Well, these, these lights aren't in any established pattern, really. Yeah, these lights are just here to break up darkness. The fancy lighting pattern is up topside. Okay, and that might be a wide enough base. Because this thing is only going to be like one or two tall at most. So it needs girth. Yeah, that should do. That should do, I think. Doesn't need super amounts of throughput, just needs just needs enough to hold a bunch of sand. So we're definitely gonna have the tank on this side. Yeah, we even have the lava line right close over there. So I think tank will be like right here. Controller we want on this side or that side just to have easier access to the sand. Where is the sand again? It's over there. So yeah, over there works. And then I think I'm just going to have a drain like... Well, we need a drain over here for the build craft pipes to scan liquid. And just an output tank like over here, I think. Yeah. So can I get this one layer higher? Let's see if I can. There we go. It's always gratifying when you finally get your weight down enough that you can walk again. Hey Austin, later in the pack, is there anything to increase your carry limit? Like, I would think that scarfing a strength potion should do it. But, in my test world, it didn't. But is there like a powered exoskeleton or something that could make me carry a thousand kilograms? Or is it is it just kind of implicit that we've bypassed the system by having bags and stuff at this point? <laughs> It's not a huge deal. I'm just curious. Okay, so... I am going to need a bunch of fluid pipe at this point. So let's go and grab some blood. Well, they're a good enough solution. Well, 12th Century Fox, I could technically build a railgun right now. The railgun is immersive engineering. And yeah, let's just build a stack of, of gold pipe. As well as, we're going to need one extractor pipe. For the glass. Oh, I'm doing okay. Ugh, the weather is worsening the lag with this fog. I think I need to allocate more RAM. Maybe that'll help. Then again, maybe that'll just slow the garbage collection because Java is horrible. Maybe I need to experiment with what build of Java this thing is using. 
maybe I just need to accept that this is going to be a laggy game now because I've built too much in one area. There we go. Oh, right. Need a pollution filter on this thing, too. For sure. Need that pollution filter. Hmm. Wait. But you said bolt guns. When I see when I hear bolt guns, I think bolters, and that's not a tau gun. Yeah, regardless, regardless. Eat some delicious life-giving tripes and forget our problems. Um, what was I doing? Pollution filter. Pollution filter is what I was doing. Or those. I should have some of these already. Yep. Oops. Better. And some of these. And then filter. Oh, oh, you're saying that you're saying that my solution is lame. Well, yeah, it kind of is. Hmm. Also, I think I'm gonna need some more gold pipe to run the uh, to run the wool line over. Yeah, I am. Well, easy enough solution. Yeah, definitely gonna be needing some more gold. I think there's a storm a brewing. Always lovely. And gonna need more pipe wire too. Out of blue pipe. Do I have any lapis? Got a little. It'll do. getting pulled by the wind? I think I was getting pulled by the wind for a second there. <sighs> Alright. Down under here. Now where's the closest wool pipe? There it is. Now... Can I just take a chimney, say, right on... It would have to be on this side, because I think it needs to be relatively close to the controller, doesn't it? Uh, did I build this thing too tall? Well, no, I don't. I, I can just uh, right down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I can... Uh, like so. Like so. And like so. And that should be a relatively working smeltery. And then I just need to A, put a wooden hopper on this thing. And B, get an extraction pipe on this thing with a void. Set that to, you know, plug that, first of all, because I don't think the hopper will put into it, but can't be safe enough. Gonna need to make some more pulsers pretty soon. Thankfully, that's really easy now. 
And then need to run the wool line down. So we're going to need that. We're going to need that. We're also going to need to make a split off of it, I think. So where's the most convenient place? Right here would be. So it's going that way. So split right here. Gate right here. Saying win less than 50% emit white signal. Extraction right here. With white pipe. Which makes sure is connected, yes. I'm standing on the wrong dang side, of course. And you are going to say you need a pulser. You are going to say when white signal pulse pipe. And meanwhile, on this side, Another extraction pipe. And another logic gate saying simply on white signal pulse pipe. And this is just going to directly feed into the hopper. Okay, and you are, of course, going to keep that full to 50%, emit white. This is a short enough path that I could probably do 75%, but you want to be careful of those hoppers in general, because, you know, only one stack of storage. Okay, and that should have the... Pollution resolved. Now I just need to do a test real quick and make sure that it can, in fact, uh, it, that it does, in fact, do I have anything to smelt on me? I think that cobble will melt. I just put that in. Yeah, there it goes. And there is smoke appearing out of that chimney. Sweet. All right. So now, take my pipes out again. Don't know why I put them away. Now, where was that? There that was. I need another plug like right there. So down we go. I'm gonna put blue pipe on you. Extractor and gate. You are going to say on blue signal pulse. And then we just run you right on over. There we go. Now, I probably need more blue pipe, as I always do. I swear, if I had two totems representing representing my base right now, it would be the wooden hopper and the blue pipe wire. They are kind of the two backbones of the base right now. <laughs> All right. Take a bit more than a stack, just for luck. And head on down there. Need to make some better ways to get around this jank of pipes over here. Okay, all the way on down. Now... 
You are a relatively shallow boy. So I'm going to limit you pretty deliberately, I think. But we're going to want to limit you based on liquid and solid. If I can just kind of get in there to put a pipe where it needs to go. Oops. Where was the controller? Uh, over there. So, 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 so. Gonna need and gate over here, saying that when liquid, let's say, contains less than seventy-five percent liquid. Oh wait, we want it to we want it to be controlled on wind blue off. I think not wind blue on. Uh, I could invert it, but that would be a bit jank. I think. Let's just take the logic off on the extractor end for the moment. And then get the control system going. So on that emit blue and on say, oh, that ruins the connection, of course. I keep forgetting that pipe gates block cross throughs over there, and you are going to say when you contain less than, yeah, you know, let's, let's be generous and see if it works. Less than 50% emit blue. Okay, get it back to proper height. And now return the signal to say on blue signal pulse. So that'll be running sand on over. And yeah, I suppose it's a big enough smeltery that it'll be fine. So, that should mean that this fills up with sand, but not to a dangerous point, and it'll fill up to uh, a pretty good capacity on liquid glass. So now all we need to do is we need to extract said liquid glass out of this drain here, and start running it down onto all of our uh, thermionic fabricators. And let's get one set up on our personal fabricator, too. Uh, there's really kind of not a good position on it anywhere. Because I jammed this in just thoughtlessly. I suppose I could move the squeezer. Yeah, I could do. Move like the squeezer. Eh, let's, let's see if I can jam it in through the top. That'll look a little bit awkward, but uh, what you gonna do? So I'm gonna need a liquid pipe here. Oh, it doesn't connect to the barrels right because they only connect on the top and bottom. Oh, but that's a problem. That is definitely gonna be a problem. This whole area is gonna be a problem because there's a million liquid pipes in this area. Well, can I get it in there at all? Oh, right, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. And just a pipe plug here for aesthetics. Okay, cool. But yeah, I'm 98% certain that liquid glass can't be directly loaded into thermionics. But you know what, it's worth a test. It's worth a test just in case. I don't think I have any sitting in there. So yeah, let's temporarily take this table off and see what it can do. See if it'll load it up when we hook it up. Come on, game. There we go. Because if I can just load liquid glass directly into there, that's fantastic. But if not, we can work around it. Uh, where is the dang thing? It's like right over Nya. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. No, I can't. Well, it's not a huge deal. 
Okay, so I need to move it like here. Is that gonna... Okay. And then I think I need to get it like one down to get it under that power line. Yep. You know what, we might as well run this along the floor just so that this area is still technically walkable. Yeah, now I can kind of, uh, well, hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, let's run it down under there. And then I'm a bit more out of uh, out of the range of things, so I can start working this end of it over here. How's our smeltery doing? Ah, the gate is not limiting for whatever reason. Oh, it is, it is. I was just over enthusiastic on it, okay. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So yeah, let's try that limit on 50% and see if that works a little bit better. Drain it out, let it finish, uh, let it finish emptying out all the sand. Hmm. I guess that maybe 25% because it got awful full. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, the liquid glass is pretty, though. Plumbing is a valuable job. I wonder if this counts as apprenticeship hours. Indeed. That's a big reason I use them for my big, long lava pipeline. Not just because it's Easy to see where I can split it off, but, uh, but because it's just so damn pretty. Oops. Okay, all connected. And now over on here. We can see that, as Austin said, indeed, it's not loading up any liquid glass. But we just need to be a bit creative. So put that casting table on there. It'll start making glass panes. And that loads in, and the thermionic will melt it down for us. Sweet. And now we just need to run that over to all of our related machines. So I think I'm just going to have this particular one um maybe uh well it's, it's probably gonna be ducking in and out under the base so yeah just the side's fine and we are definitely gonna need more fluid pipe We are definitely going to need more pipe sealant. The blood bank is really starting to pull its weight. Even though, for whatever reason, it's not fully automating like it should, I still have to run over to get it to drain into the pipeline all the way. It's, uh... Just the fact that I have a ton of blood stored up and in the form of in the form of uh, blood balls is... Yeah, it, it seems to be that way. I've not played with Create. And I guess playing through Civilization would be a good excuse for me to learn. Oh, right, I was building more of those. Oh, that's... That's inhumane, man. 
you you need to that's a human rights violation in this day and age, I'm pretty sure, man. Mr. Fancy Schmancy, you need to you need to demand better conditions. Or get you a laptop, I guess. Alright. Yeah, I mean, Riley said he's dumping his run. Prince at the moment is not going to be able to post for the foreseeable future. Brid on the Discord, he lost his run. Am I really the furthest along in the game right now? God. Yeah, so it goes. And that is more important. Oh, we're going to need more tools shortly. Yeah, we are going to need more tools. All right. You know what? Instead of jinking it over on that end, let's just kind of jink it right here. Oh, I didn't jink it far enough. Alrighty then. Liquid glass getting into that area. And now we should have a nice steady source of sandstone coming in from that thermionic. Which will be the initial experience getting us uh, getting us going on the circuit plate line. Wait, why you know? Did it get it? Did it go at all? You're hooked up. What the heck? Okay, then. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, you're pulsing out. You have a nice... You're still overstocked horrifically. Let's uh, reduce this again to 25%. What the heck is going on here? Bizarre. Well, it's fixed now. Yep, it's fixed now. But uh, yeah, the reason that I'm trying to get it to limit on fluids as well as solids is I think that it continues emitting pollution even even when it's not actively smelting, so long as it has items that are attempting to smelt. So, really, why is that filling up so full? It should be limited to 25%. I guess it's because the distance is too great. Maybe I do need to make a buffer chest on this thing. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it does. We'll see if that fills up the liquid over full. Yeah, let's just watch this smelt that it's doing real quick. Mm, it's about to summon a whole lot of sand. It doesn't matter if it gets all the way full, so long as it, uh, so long as it just doesn't have any sand sitting in the tank attempting to smelt. Oh, it is? Huh. But it still emits smoke particles, and I think I've seen it emitting pollution, even when, uh, even when it's not using any lava. At least I think I saw the melter emitting pollution even when it wasn't using any lava. Don't know if that's still true for the smelter. Yeah, what the heck? 
Oh, it's because the liquid is still full. Okay, that needs to be on a different signal then. Yeah, I need to I need to change how the logic on this one works. Okay, what I can do here is I can put you on white, I guess. I can say emit white signal on yours. And you, I can switch for an AND gate. So that's the problem. I just did the logic stupidly. So I can say when contains less than 25% and white signal produce blue signal. And that should be a proper logic combination to work this thing. Okay, okay. Regardless, let's check in on our steel and see how that's doing. Because that's kind of what I was doing this on the side for, is uh, waiting on enough steel to make another diesel generator. It's not filling that up anymore. What is going on here? You are not... Are you out of coal? Oh, it must be because it's consuming all the coal, pressurizing the... Uh, pressurizing... No, you've got coal. You've got lots of coal. Why are you not pulling coal? Why is this system not pulling coal? The pipe logic broke on this. That is unfortunate. Is there an unloaded chunk on here? There is. That's the problem. Yeah, build craft pipes, especially ones with logic on them, need to be fully chunk loaded. Well, I still have a lot more project to go anyway. But yeah, let's check some of our other systems down the line and let's see like if any of these are broken. So we're receiving iron, nickel, coal. That's all coming in appropriately. How about our copper line? We've had the power line on the on the copper excavator breaking for God knows what reason. Let's check in on that. Just over down in the village land. Ah, good, that's still working. But yeah, you can see why we need a second diesel generator. But we're building up a fairly good collection. Considering that we also have like 20,000 copper just sitting in the silo before I shut it off. I guess that I could speed it up a little bit by turning the iron off. I probably built up enough iron by now. But yeah, little painful moments like that, they just happen every once in a while. You just kind of deal with it and you fix it for the future. Okay, so let us, yeah, I probably have enough iron to last for a little while. So shut off the iron. Um, we are, yeah. I'm going to need to get that excavator back on redstone pretty soon. Sand. Yeah, the crushers are still running. It's just not keeping up with with uh, consumption right now. But eventually that system will pressurize and it'll be okay. Yep, coal and sulfur is arising. Cool. All right, so next on the line, now that we have sandstone being produced, 
we are going to need to produce the sandy coal compound, if I'm recalling correctly. Let's see, circuit plate. Uh, silicon, red silicon, normal silicon, silicon bool. Yeah, that sandy coal compound surrounded by more silicon. And that is, ah, we do need standard old sand. Okay, good. And I guess I'll make that just parallel to it because it's kind of the same level of processing at this point. So we'll start the system off on a hopper over here. I guess I should have run the liquid glass like down on this one then. Yeah, or something. But we'll just right there. And yeah, I'm going to need to make a buffer chest for the sand, I guess, because I'll split it right there. Easiest done right there, I think. So we'll make a buffer chest right here. We'll put gate logic on that. Saying when less than 25% emit blue signal. Just a simple extractor pipe up on the top. And where are my extractor pipes? Am I out? I think I'm out of extractor pipes. That's an easy fix. All right, over there, over there. Probably not the right arrangement. Nope, I never get it right on the first try. And it never gets it right on the first try either, it seems. There we go. Okay, so you are just going to need a little bit of logic on you. I don't think you even need a pipe wire. You're just going to say, when chest on the west side contains less than, no, not on the bottom side, on the west side contains less than 25%, pulse the pipe. Wait, that is the west side, right? Right. Okay, cool. But it's already more than 25% full, isn't it? Did I accidentally take some sand out of it or something? You should be full by now. Okay, I, I guess it just wasn't for whatever reason. And then on this side, uh, that side is going to have to wait because we're going to need some more complicated logic for that. So right away, we're going to need to run coal over here. And it's also going to need a buffer chest, I think. I think I'll put the coal like right here. Yeah, we'll join it onto the same line. Just to make it exactly clear where it's all going, not the liquid pipe. So, da 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 da. da. And. Da. And. Just any old gate. Little bit of blue wire. You're going to say contains less than 25% emit blue. And now we just need to run it on down. So poke hole under current coal box. Yep, yep. Oops. Under there. Uh, looks like I didn't run the lower platform out to this point yet. Oh well. And you are just going to have a little bit of logic saying wind blue signal pulse the pipe. And unfortunately, I think I'm going to need some more gold pipe. Yep.
Well, if autocomplete is uh, is completing it for you, then it must mean that you use that particular template a whole lot. So I think you only have yourself to blame there, Devin. I think that uh, your technical problem there exists somewhere between the keyboard and chair. Oh no, I have lower platform over on here. I think. Where is it? It should just be like one more two. There it is. There it is. Oh, it's really close to the edge. That's why it was looking like it wasn't. Okay. On down the line. Wow, I got it exactly in line, and I think I just guessed the second half of it. Well, that's lucky. Just on down you go. I probably don't have enough blue pipe. Yep, do I know myself or do I know myself? I'm exactly a couple of pieces short. Exactly. We're getting our cardio in, running back and forth across the base like this. It's in forced exercise. Alrighty then. Yes, the unfortunate uh, side effect of the main bus design of uh, pipe layout I decided on is that we get some really long supply lines for the later for the later um, items on the bus. They just have to go a long ways across the width of all the transport pipes. It'll be well by the time we have things to make it more compact, like a a black hole chest or whatever the equivalent in this pack is. By that point, we're going to have an ME system anyway, so we just need to suck it up and realize that we're going to have some big long pipes to run every once in a while. All right, so this is going to be a little bit of a special case. A special, special boy. So... Extractor pipe over here. We'll just join it in right there and get a clay pipe. I should probably start just carrying clay pipe with me, but it's probably... It's probably the most infrequently used pipes of the pipes that I use relatively frequently, if that makes sense as a sentence. Okay, clay pipe right there. Now, I think here on the... No, wait, not clay pipe right there, because it needs to be... It needs to be coal block, doesn't it? Sandy coal compound. Yeah, that needs to be coal block, and I think that's just made in a standard crafting table. So we need... We need... Hmm. Okay, okay. We needs to make us a buildcraft auto crafting table, real quick. I think I have some spare 
starter work tables in my storage somewhere. Yeah, right there. I made a whole ton of them when I did the cog dancer, and I'm still kind of chewing through them. At one point, I should just fully upgrade all of these, just so I have a bunch of crafting tables on hand. Okay, gonna need a piece of andesite. Hello, Davis Squad. Lovely to see you here. Ah, there it is. Well. Okay, gonna need a little bit of masonry brick, a little bit of pulp. Is, uh, is this your first time watching the channel, Davis? I don't think I've seen you here before. Welcome. Are you, a, are you a lurker or are you new to the channel? Right, need wood. All right, over there. And that does it for now. Into there for now. Ah, well, always wonderful to have new faces showing up in the stream. This is, uh, this is just kind of, I'm doing a couple of side projects while I'm waiting on some steel to smelt for me to build a new diesel generator. So, at the moment I'm working on making some automated thermionic fabricators to make me a few circuit plates. And, right, I need auto work crafting table, not regular. Silly me. So over in here, we just need to upgrade these to stone tier. Just a two of them. And then doop, doop, and doop. Beauteous. And then over here. So, I think the extraction pipe for this. Okay, so if I just up here, over here, and then over here, I might be able to work that. Okay, so this is going to have to say I don't know if Gate Logic can read auto work crafting tables properly. Um, I guess let's see. Let us see. So you are going to say on the north side when less than 25% full. Um, so if I fill that up a little bit. Will that deactivate the gate logic? It will, sweet. So you just pulse the pipe until it's 25% full. <laughs> Devin, you can't just ask someone out of the blue how they feel about the IRS. You have to warm them up with, with something a little bit more, uh, more subtle first. Like, asking them how they feel about taxation in general, you know? Come on, man. You're gonna scare him off. Uh, that's out of glass. Thankfully, I remember that we made some more. Well, you're in good company, my friend. You are in good company there. Does anyone actually like taxes, I wonder? Very strange person, if anyone does. I'm not going to be ashamed of saying that. I'm not one to kink shame, but uh, you're into some serious stuff right there. All right.
let me guess, Fox, you enjoyed tax season because you don't pay any taxes on anything. You got no taxable income. Because that's usually the only people who ever enjoy taxes are the people who, like, enjoy everyone else's suffering over them. <laughs> okay, so... To make sandy coal... Yeah, that's eight blocks of sand to one block of coal. Right, okay, cool. So... Hmm. I think I'm going to need to take out the gold gate for this one. And yeah, that'll have to be an ore gate. But this one should just be fine. We're also going to put a ore gate over on this end. Yeah. And you're going to act as our limiter. You're going to output a blue signal. You're going to say when inventory on the west side contains less than 25%, emit blue. Ah, well. It, it's not that it's hard or easy. It's that it's... It's depressing having to give up money to the government. Especially when you disagree with some of the stuff they're doing. Okay, and let's give you as many pulsers as I can cram onto you before I run out of space. I could put one on the bottom side, but meh, lazy. Okay, so we're going to need white wire going down there. Okay, so you are going to say on blue signal pulse... And on item traversing, emit white signal. And you are going to say, on white signal, pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Yup, because that's unfortunately how sandy clay, how sandy coal compound do. So let's just fill out the pattern nice and appropriately. Let's also make sure that our extractor pipe only knows how to uh, extract block of coal. I don't know if it would try and extract the regular coal otherwise, but. And I think that should do it. So. If I load that up. Is there any way I can put this block of coal back in? Cool. Cool. All right. All right. All right. So let's see if that is loading it up to ratio properly. So if I just prime the pump by... Uh, oh, no, wait. I can say, yeah, while that pulse... All right, and let's see how full that gets it, and let's count if it's at ratio. So it'll be a while before it's before it's a quarter of the way full. Hmm. Well, it'll probably it'll probably run out of coal blocks because this is a relatively slow crafter, but then it'll fill up a lot of ways with sand. I guess while that's doing its job, we can uh, we can uh, run our fluid pipe on down. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna put that right there. And I'll just kind of lazily over on this way. Good enough. All right, so it's at 40, 
So that should load up eventually 200 sand. If it's even shut off by now, which it isn't. So it'll load up a bit more. Okay, put a nice little power tap on there. But let's not give it power until this thing shuts off and we'll... That's on the lowest it can go, right? Right. And it is facing the right inventory, right? 224, 128, 196, or 192. Hmm. Are you really not a quarter full yet? I guess you're not. No, not until, not until it has a few more stacks than that, I guess. But yeah, the gate should remember how many pulses has been given. The pulsers should keep count and they should load exactly eight sand per block of coal. Okay, cool. It looks like the logic here is shut off. So now it'll load up sand. So 128, 256. One, two, three, four. You gonna stop anytime soon, Pulsers? You should be pretty close. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm gonna be right back real quick. Be back in just a little bit. I have returned. Sorry about that break, everyone. So let's see here. So with 46 on here, let's see, it should be one stack per eight of these. So one, two, three, four, five, almost six. Yeah, that is, that is exactly to ratio. Huzzah! And hello, computer wizard. Welcome to the stream. Alrighty then. So, 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 we can just turn this thing on by giving it a scotch of power. There's my cables. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just AFK for a moment. Just for a moment. And there we go. That should be Sandy Clay Compound building it up, right? Right. And there's block of coal plus sand. Oh, it needs a super diamond. It needs a super diamond. Okay, we're not there yet. Silly, silly me. I forgot that it needs that dang super diamond. Well. Well, we aren't quite at circuits yet. Well, well, that's, that's too bad. Too bad for me. My ambition was a bit too much for the task at hand. No, not those. Those. Also, why do I have those? Okay. Yup. Yup, yup. Well, I, I don't even want, um... I don't even want the circuit plates for Project Red. I, I want them just to build some dang comparators, man. <laughs> Just basic vanilla comparators, just so that I can finally get my uh, my silos all on automated redstone controls, and so that I can better control my diesel generators. But it'll wait. It will wait. We now have that system largely laid out just for when we need it. And we got a bit more steel built up now. That was largely kind of just a time sink for uh, waiting on this anyway, you know? That's the excuse that I'll use. That that's my totally that's my totally legit reason. Yeah. I didn't want it to complete anyway, man. Ugh. You're you're being so like you're being so literal about my intentions and stuff, God. I'm doing this for the art, you know. God. Wait, why do I have a HV wire quail in my 
non-logistics bag. All right. So, 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 so. Uh, I guess I can put those away in here. That wasn't emo. That was Southern Californian. Yep. And I definitely appreciate that. But yeah, I won't. Well, I could maybe potentially. Do I have any Electrotine? No, I don't. Yep. Can't do that just yet. Wait, I'm going to need a bit of Electrotine for the. For the. Um, for the generator, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit of Electrotine to build a capacitor for the generator. Well, I guess I won't build a capacitor on it just yet. Well, okay. Generator blocks. Generator. Gonna need four of those if I'm remembering correctly. So. Just gonna need three, four, five, six, seven, seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight coils. Got some in storage already. Gonna need a ton of copper wire. And just a little bit of that. If I'm remembering my recipes correctly, which I might be. Okay, just not quite enough just yet. Need more wire. I said more wire. <laughs> You're just finding every excuse you can for that Easter Island head emote, aren't you? We're not even sure what it means. It's just a generic philosophical statement at this point. Okay. Unfortunately, going to have to wait on that stamper right now. Because what is planning ahead, really? And so we're also going to need glue, refractory balls, bit of redstone, bit of iron. Glue is easy. Let's see, we're just going to need four of that, right? Right. I've got Kimberlite deposits lined up already to excavate. Let's see, that's Fallerite. Where was my Kimberlite deposit? That was really close by. I've stumbled across a couple of them. There it is. Yeah, I've got Kimberlite right here. This won't be hard to mine up. I got relatively lucky in that regard. It was copper where I got screwed. So yeah, all the rare stuff showed up pretty dang easy. It was it was all the common, supposedly common stuff that was uh, horrific to find. I think my closest Cassiterite... No, my closest Cassiterite is close by. It was some other common thing that I was missing. Was it Bauxite? No. Was it... I don't know. There, I've got some... Oh, and I haven't found a platinum vein yet. I haven't found a platinum vein at all. Okay, one more stack of wires worth should do it. We're getting there. But no, what, what's so bad about kimberlite deposits? I don't think they're terribly uncommon. At least I've stumbled across a couple of them just in the um, in the roughly half of the island that I've scanned. Hmm. Let's see here. Are you short on anything? I'm eventually going to need to run steel down to you automatically, as well as make those steel mechanical components. <laughs> yes. 
Who who needs that dang platinum when the Moai protect us? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, good. I did indeed get a couple of stacks of tin out of that ore that I smelted. Have I, have I got any other easy ore that needs to go? I got a couple of stacks of copper ore that could go. Eh. Yeah, just because you need all those blocks of electrotine and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess. I guess. All right, that's enough copper wire for now. At least for the first part of this job, anyway. Over here. And then... Like so. And then like so. And then I need refractory clay balls. Got some. And... Steel blocks and redstone, cool. Did I put it in the yellow bag? Where did I put it? In here, cool. Hm. Yep, that makes four of those. Wait, what? What am I short on? Short on iron. Easy to resolve. Oops. Okay, there we go. And from there, should be relatively simple to just upgrade that. So we're gonna need 16 heavy engineering blocks, a bunch of steel, a bunch of electrum. Well, I mean, it is definitely a very inexplicable emote. Almost as inexplicable as the Moai themselves. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't blame you for for taking an interest in it. I'm going to need some more heavy engineering blocks when it comes to building the... Um... And I think for that, I'm going to need some more jungle wood in that to build the pistons. Wait, did I put... I have screwed up all my bags. Oops. I guess this can also go in here. Cool. Your hatred for the IRS is new? You weren't just born with it the moment that you that you heard what they do. Um, right, I'm getting jungle wood. I need to occasionally remind myself what the heck I was doing. And it's not when I'm off task for a long time either. It's it's a uh, it's shorter period than that. <clears throat> okay. There we go. And. Let's see here. Did anything fall into the smeltery? Might have, but no. Also, do note that we picked up a little bit of cocoa bean just from that, too. Because eventually, if you leave those dynamic jungle trees long enough, they'll sometimes grow cocoa beans. 
Yep. Yep, yep. The IRS. If I recall, they were founded, they were supposed to be a temporary wartime measure. And they're about as temporary as every other temporary government solution. All right, make some jungle wood. Just get that on the craft. And why would I make cookies when I have delicious life-giving tripe? Seriously, it's so tasty. This stream is sponsored by tripe, you know. Delicious, delicious tripe. So I think I have just enough Electrum in storage, really, for this. Definitely going to need to get some more of that going sooner or later. And yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, that we have that. I'm going to need at least 16 steel blocks. Uh, tripe is... It's uh, from the stomach lining of ruminant animals. Specifically in the case of tripe lyonnaise, which I think is what the Normans are producing. It's, uh, it's the stomach lining from cow from cattle it it's um it has a very slight organ meat taste to it like it tastes a lot like liver but it's gentler and it needs to be boiled for a really damn long time but when prepared properly it's very tender very nice uh okay I might not have quite enough steel blocks. Yeah. You need more than a stack of steel blocks. Good to know. Yep. And it is a wonderful source of protein. Oh, come on. Austin. Have you considered what sausage is made out of? Sausage is much grosser than tripe. And both of them are delicious. Hmm. Well, looks like I'm going to be casting out some of my steel ingots into blocks. Bah. Accept the grossness. Accept those facts of life that some things are just kind of... We eat some gross stuff and we make it delicious. But no, if you... If you're at all a fan of liver and onions, tripe essentially tastes like a gentler form of, of liver. in terms of taste. It has that it has a very slight kind of organ meat taste to it. Ah oh, man, what are you doing with your life, man? You don't like liver and onions? God. You were just raised with no taste at all. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's fine. Oh, well. Uh, at one point, if you encounter, like, if you encounter, like, a little rusty spoon diner, they'll usually have liver and onions on their menu. Give it a try sometimes, man. You might just find yourself a new favorite. But no, nah, the, other, the other food that the Normans sell, which I have never tried in my life but want to, but I can never find it, uh, they sell boudin noir, black pudding, otherwise called black sausages, which is essentially a sausage casing that is filled up with coagulated pig's blood. B 
blood sausage. Supposedly very popular in England. Part of a full English breakfast, I believe they are. <laughs> oh, you all are... You have no sense of adventure when it comes to food. Come on. Oh, beans on toast is fine, but... Uh... Oh! Have you ever had it, uh, Fox? How does it taste? Ooh, I am jealous. Yeah, I've always wanted to... I, I've always, ever since I heard of it, wanted to try it. Just because it seemed... It seemed so unlikely, but also kind of enticing, the thought of it. Mmm. Tasty, tasty blood sausage. Yes, good. I definitely need to intensify my search and see if I can find some. But I imagine it's probably... We have so many health regulations on our food around here. I imagine that I'm never going to find it because blood is just a nightmare when it comes to health hazards like that. Yes, obviously. That's why it's black instead of red. Because the cooking process blackens the blood. Yeah, we have a bit of a wait for these steel blocks to cast at this point. I have the supplies. I just need to get it in the right form factor. I really wish that there was a faster way to to chunk things up into blocks and uh, you presume that we were ever not vampires, Austin. You presume have you not figured it out the weird hours that I keep the the weird. The weird way that I always stream when it's like, when it's like, stupid o'clock in the night. This has secretly been a Vampire the Masquerade show all, all this time. One big LARP, yes. Pretty much. Like, uh, I, I, I take a... Usually in order to handle these really late night streams, I'll, uh, I'll go to bed a little bit early, and I'll get a couple hours nap in, just until everyone in my house is asleep. And then, when everyone else is dead asleep, I'll come up and stream. Because I need to wait for them to get their butts in bed before I can uh, actually stream, you know? Oh, I had some in my pocket still. Cool. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Exactly. Cool. 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 All right. And let me just double check the book. Make sure that four is what I need. And we are making a diesel generator. Yeah, that's going to take four generator blocks. Sweet. Well, that's the hard part done. And the good news is we already have our block caster making us more steel blocks just automatically in the background. And isn't that a wonderful feeling? So I think I'm going to put these casting tables away for now. Just in here. Oh, I had a bunch in here already. Sweet. Cool. I'll just... You know, I'll put these in the machine. In the machine storage. I'm less likely to forget about them here. Yeah. Okay, so, what else do I need for generator? So, we're going to need nine radiator blocks. I have some in storage already. Just from heaven knows what. 
I think I might have accidentally made a ton at one point, thinking that I, thinking that I was uh, needed nine for an excavator for whatever reason. All right, so we're gonna need copper, steel, and iron. Cool. Iron, copper. Get in my pocket and out of my way, you. Hmm. Yeah, n neither am I a fan of. I, the most vampire, the masquerade lore I know is from playing, um, what was the name of it? Bloodlines? The really good PC game that everyone loves everywhere all the time. And um, watching Brother Alpha Boost's new series on it, um, his his revived um, after Games Workshop decided to be idiots, you know. But yeah, I, I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly up on all the uh, on all the LARP and lore. Okay, just one more. There we go. All right, so that's radiator block settled. And what else do we need? We're gonna need 13 heavy engineering blocks, one redstone and six steel scaffolding. I don't have enough scaffolding. And I think it's made in sets of six, so that box of five that I have in there is literally doing me no good. I think it just goes like this and like this. Okay, that's six steel scaffolding, one redstone, 13 heavy. And right, I needed to move the wood into the mechanical artisan to make the pistons to make the heavies. I suppose that's the one thing that moving into the next chapter would make easier is I could finally automate wood. Yeah, it'll just be a moment assembling those. It's also gonna need more Electrum, isn't it? Shoot. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll also make you jealous with my food. Um, I am, I'm the, I'm the chef in this house. And last night, I made my I made the family a uh, a Tex-Mex chicken and rice casserole. It's basically um, you make some really good Spanish rice, like about two cups worth of rice worth of it. Uh, you mix that with salsa, black beans, corn, and then you pile chicken on top of it. Um, just boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You pile on a whole ton of herbs and spices. Just uh. Mexican herb mix and you bake you bake it all together then once the chicken's done you take it out you top it with a little chili fresco sauce a little green salsa and tons of cheese bake it again till the cheese melts and it is delicious and tangy and spicy and good and I have a big pot of it that I can go and grab a plate of whenever I get starving again. Regardless, regardless. Da, 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 da. Keep the book out. Doomkopf. And... Da, 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 da. Right, waiting on those engineering blocks at the moment. Which I need to make Electrum for. Right, that's what I was doing. I'm not sure... I might need to go and grab some more gold. Yep. Okay. So let's 
pack up our diesel generator just so we don't lose track of it. And I should be able to... Let's see, I cleared out that ship already. There should be another set of gold blocks in, like, that ship over there. Well, I'll hurry up and wrap up the stream then, because everyone is getting hungry. <laughs> okay, let's let's hurry up, finish this generator. Before, before I get a mutiny on my hands from everyone describing delicious food to each other. Ah, I left some blocks in here. Also, this is a cargo ship, not a... Okay. Okay, never mind. Not this ship, then. But I do need to finish clearing this ship out. But that ship should have some. No, um... What, what I've done is I've recently, I made some uh, homemade Greek yogurt, Greek style yogurt, just uh, just plain. I didn't put any flavorings in it. And what I've been doing is I've been uh, mixing that with a little vanilla extract over Cheerios. And that's a really damn good snack. Here we are. Also, it looks like I looks like I caught something from the locals because this ship is not lit up. Oh well. Yep. Sounds like I have creeperitis. So it goes. I mean, yeah, all pancakes are pan-fried. If you want to get technical about it. He's probably talking like... He's thinking like deep-fried pancakes? That sounds horrible, but also amazing. That sounds like good drunk-slash-hungover food. No, what I like doing is... Um, peanut butter chocolate chip pancakes when I want to be decadent about my pancakes. You basically get something that's a low-grade Reese's cup with just lots of extra carbs. <laughs> it's glorious. Pancakes are basically an excuse to have candy for breakfast when you think about it. They're an adult, less guilty feeling kids' sugary breakfast cereal. True, true. Waffles are the superior syrup holder. Yeah, I'm just gonna have an exploding rear end for a little while. We're just gonna have to deal with it. Mmm. I haven't made waffles in forever. I'm not even sure where my waffle iron is. Ah, we're operating on two different levels of waffles, I see. I mean, I guess I could, like, prefab some waffles and freeze them, but, uh... Hmm... Yep, I've seen that too. I've seen that too. I, I thought that would just be a America being Murica type thing, but I guess not. I guess that's just fairs being fairs. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, wait. We don't want to... We don't want to cast the gold out. I mean, a little bit of gold might be nice, but... Uh, now it's going to be wasted. Okay, can I steal this off? Oh, but now it's making cast. Okay. You need to stop. S taps, get off of there. That'll fix it. And where's that fourth tap gone? Don't know. Beauteous. There it is. Uh, but now it's unfortunately... Okay. And it's still going? Seriously? Yeah, I need to fix this behavior. Need to fix this. Okay, you finish casting that. Okay, now we should be back to an even amount. And now I should be able to poke some silver into there. So how much? Ah, uh, not even amounts. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, well. Oh, well. So let's just guesstimate. So that's six blocks. So it's at least got 45. Let's just make however much that'll give us. Yep, yep. Yeah, I I got myself the creeperitis. And that was just from running around in a ship that I didn't properly light up the first time I cleared it out. So it goes. I agree, rear end. That was stupid of me. I I interpret the explosion noise from creeperitis as being explosive diarrhea. This is the reality I choose to live in. Hmm. You, you know, the secret to a really good uh, southern-style gravy for your biscuits and gravy? Put just, like, a little bit of nutmeg in. Because the gravy is really damn close to being a bechamel the way it's formulated. So it all the same all the same seasonings that you go into a good bechamel, they'll go into that gravy just fine. Shoot, these casts are going to become infected, aren't they? Yeah, they're probably already infected. Shoot. Hmm. Okay. If I just... Okay, that one's at least not infected yet. We'll just kind of test these one at a time. See how badly I screwed up holding onto them. So far, so good. No, it looks like I caught it in time. It does matter, Computer Wizard, because infected casts won't accept liquids. That was, um... You remember when I first made the metal smeltery and it wasn't seeming to work and I couldn't figure out why? It's because my casts were infected. But it's a fail we avoided. It is a fail we avoided. The the casts are all fine. The casts are all fine. We meant we I remembered to take it out of my damn pocket before it became a problem. So now we just need to wait for the alloying process to finish up. I can probably start casting now. It's fine. Yep, just let that go on the pulse. And now we should have a lovely amount of Electrum coming in that I can just pour into our Mechanical Artisan. Flatulate explosively in celebration, and that will make us our heavy engineering blocks. 
I might need some more steel mechanical components. Oh boy, isn't that lovely. I'm gonna go and pick up some garlic to try and kill this thing faster. I imagine the garlic plot is completely full by now, yeah. My tiny little garlic plot, which I basically only harvest every once in a while just to prevent me from getting that, uh, that low immunity sickness. Yep. Uh, Fox, um, you are going to want to start planting some garlic in your game because the effect that garlic does is if you just eat it like I was doing there, just eat raw, eat entire raw cloves of garlic like a freaking animal, it will boost your immunity a little bit. And um, I think the higher your immunity, the faster you kick diseases. You lose a little bit of immunity every time you catch a disease, I think. I'm not sure if you lose immunity over time or anything like that. But, um... Like a proverbial animal. Just, just scarf it into your face. But yes, uh, you, you you definitely want to have a stock of garlic on hand, and it takes a very long time to grow. So the sooner, sooner, sooner begun as soon as done. Okay. You should be making. Oh, you're out of bronze gears. It is out of good old fashioned bronze gears. Oh, I should have a little bit of bronze. Start turning that into gears. Could also go pick up some more from the ships, but meh. Do I have any in storage? And let's just steal some more copper gears out of here. Oh, we don't have... All that much? Well. Oh, it's because it's actually using them for once instead of just piling them up. But we'll make a little bit. Just a little bit. That'll make us some bronze. Hmm. I mean, the Moai heads speak to me on a metaphorical level. Shoot. Need to turn those off. I certainly appreciate them on an artistic, spiritual level, I suppose. Really? You're still on? Hmm. Okay, casts off the table. I really need to fix that behavior. And let's take our tin ingots out and see if we can figure out where our alloy is screwed up. Eh, not yet. Need to wait for it to completely... No, I suppose that... Uh... What the what the Moai head emote reminds me of is uh, Mumbo Jumbo from Banjo Kazooie. So they do speak to me. They go Ikum Bokum. That is what the Moai heads say to me. Even though I realize that Mumbo Jumbo is ripping off a completely different culture. But that's just where my brain went with those for whatever reason. Hmm. Let's just start emptying this out, I suppose.
just kind of get that box a little bit. Uh... Yes, shrinks are well known for their stealthiness and their public acts of good with no payment. We're on to you, shrink. I only made 13. Well, that'll make a few. And honestly, that might make enough. Let's see here. 12, 16. Yeah, that'll make enough. All right. There's the 16 heavy engineering blocks at last. Yeah, yeah, he, he's just, uh, he's taking algebra notes, clearly. Yeah, he's, he's doing his homework while he's, while he's talking to you. Clearly. Shoot. What? How did I fall down? What did I fall down? Oh, I fell down there. Right, because I cleared out this area a little bit. Well, that's easy fix. I really wish that I had the forged micro blocks to make covers for these. I don't think chisel and bits smoothly cover these, do they? Hmm. Oh, well. Well, there's no gold in this, so I can just put these taps back on. Okay, have you fully alloyed yet? So you've got seven blocks, three ingots. That's a lot, dang. So, that'll be one tin ingot to, and then seven blocks worth. So that's three blocks worth, or no, 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 that's, First of all, am I remembering wrong? Is it, in fact, a different ratio than 3 to 1? It looks like... Yeah, it looks like it is 3 to 1. So, 7 blocks. That's... Uh, that's 63. So I need to input in 21. What, just based off of what I'm doing? I didn't think that I'm making anything all that complex. I'm mostly a plumbing issues right here, as well as, you know, dealing with my own stupidity, which I suppose could be psychology. Okay, so, 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 so. I'm also going to need to increase the infrastructure on the garden cloches. So in my testing world, I determined that um, I overbuilt for my initial diesel engine on these. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I'm gonna need a total of 17. So four more of these. And I think the other number was 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so three more of these. So I just need to make six more garden cloches. Yeah, yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair. That happens. So it goes. Okay, so... Yep, just gonna need six more heavy engineering blocks, I guess. Has our alloying completed yet? No, but it's getting close. Uh, no, I shouldn't run it until it's completely, completely done. Because I have been hurt that way too many times. So, do I have any bronze gears I can throw in anywhere? Do I have any more bronze anywhere? I really don't want to go back and run down another ship. Hmm. It is. I just wish I could understand it.
That should be enough, I think. Because, yeah. I mean, I, I guess they... I guess there's the old saying, if you think you understand quantum mechanics, you don't understand quantum mechanics. Like, there's something inherently unknowable about it. Okay. Let's see if that gets us our heavy engineering blocks. Let's see, it shouldn't need too much more in terms of resources, should it? It might need steel mechanical components. Yeah, it's going to need at least a few more steel mechanical components. Okay, how's the alloy end going? Almost done. And it does indeed look like I calculated that correctly. Excellent. So let's get you going. I think I'll just go for ingots because I also need bronze ingots for things occasionally. And let's get a couple of stacks of steel just to store in our storage crate. Just over on in Nia. Which, yeah, I guess I'll just go and turn one of these into plates on here. I thought Lovecraft is more generally ocean bad. And really, like, half of his evils are ancient evils, you know? They're the ancient civilization buried in the ice. They're the ancient alien menace that's buried beneath the ocean. They're the... Really, it's, it's more like the grand scale of time and our insignificant place in the universe bad, or at least scary is more Lovecraft's message, I suppose. Yeah, they're from beyond space and they're like way ancient in terms of time. Yeah, I really don't know why the bloodline isn't running like it should. Hmm. I probably need to replace that entire pipeline with Billcraft pipe. Maybe that'll fix it. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, let's start melting some additional steel. Yeah, that should be done before the steel is ready. There, a little loading wheel. Okay, switch that to plate. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, his, his writing is decent. His writing is decent. His ideas are decent. Lovecraft is okay. Right, that's why I'm back here. I remember I put a a batch of steel into the metal press. Seeing how that's doing. Yeah, it's a bit slow. But so it goes. Excellent. Coming right along. Yeah, it's definitely faster to cast out plates than it is to stamp them. At least at least only in one stamper. I'm gonna need to pick up some more copper. No, I've got some. I 
I mean, for his time, he was just a normal level of racist. Doesn't excuse it, but it does explain it. I mean, most of his villains weren't people in the traditional sense, either. Uh, what is the holdup here? It should be making heavy engineering block from that, right? Let's see, steel. It needs more steel. Of course it do. I really should just run a damn steel line over and get it inserting into there automatically. Hmm. Okay, and that's enough to make us our garden cluches. Oh, I had some in storage already. I should have looked. Oh, well. So, to make garden cloches, I'm going to need a ton of treated wood planks. Probably more than that. So, just ash into there. And then start piling in some creosote oil. Let's make like another half stack's worth or so. And let's see what that avails us. Did I put any more glass on the cooker in here? A little bit. And that's also going to need mechanical components, isn't it? Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Cloche. Ah, uh, right, those things, the vacuum tubes. Also need those. Thankfully, made a ton of those a while back. All right, six cloches. Into the storage, you all go again. And we can just kind of steal three dirt out of here and three sand out of smear and I should be able to pick up just a little bit of uh, a little bit of spare sugar cane out of one of these things. Like, seal a little bit out of the out of the uh, fermenter or whatever as they produce. So, ding. Do. Twa. Just let it run off the side. It's fine. Yeah. This fermenter is just stock full because, uh, we way over, we way overproduced, but, uh, that's okay for the current situation. It just means it has a nice full buffer for when we get this going. So we're going to need those. We're going to need iron pipe. We're going to need three of these. And we're also going to need, I'm going to need to make more power connectors. So doop, doop, and... Doop, doop, and get the wrench. Doop, doop, doop. Okay. Activate systems. Do I have any IE fluid pipes on me? No. Uh, I kind of like the concept of the color from beyond space. I think that was his most alien creation. That was essentially like a law of physics that was out to get you almost. That's just a really interesting concept. I wish he went farther with it. Uh, 
Okay, get those going. And dupe. Oh, this looks so jank, and I love it. Mm, I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the concepts that are born off of Lovecraft are just amazing. Okay. So. Oh, the lag is getting bad for whatever reason. So, 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 so. I'm going to need some more power connectors. So I'm going to need terracotta. Which I don't have any clay blocks in storage right now. But that's a relatively easy fix. Let's just come over here. That'll make us a, a stack of terracotta bricks. Hmm. Yeah, but the Migo, the Migo are something that you can talk to, reason with. Like, they're pretty accomplished scientists in a way. At least, if I'm recalling the right monster here, they're from uh, Fungi from Yugath, right? At least if I'm recalling correctly. Okay, the rest of it will just chunk in here. It'll go on its own for a while. I just need a few connectors. That should do. All right, then pick up a bunch of aluminum. Make HV connector. And there we go. All right. But yeah, I mean, the, the Migo, the Migo you could talk to. The Migo you could, the Migo... The Miko knew humanity well enough, understood humanity well enough, that they attempted infiltration. That's... That's an alarming amount of humanity. That's a worrying amount of humanity. That's scary from the other direction that the color is. Okay, so... Doop. 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 Doop, doop, doop. And doop, doop, doop. And sloop, sloop, sloop. And then finally, boop, boop. Boop. And then... Sound effects. Ugh. Come on. Yeah, this is bad. Sound effect and sound effect. Cool. You growing? It growing. Sweet. All right. So that should be all the infrastructure built to fully supply two diesel generators running flat out. Oh, also, I am going to need... I have chimneys. I'm going to need a filter on it. Yeah, before I forget about that. Now, 
No, nah, what it reminds me of is a uh, good old fashioned LARPing. I'm 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 doing the lightning bolt, lightning bolt, only even less creative. Okay, over into here. Get some bar. Come on, game. Work with me, please. Just make however much that'll give me. Okay, so... Gonna need just 12 of those. Sweet, we already have a next one lined up for us. Gonna need four of those. Gonna need nine of those. And then filter. Oh yeah. And you know, as much as we make fun, those people are usually some of the most passionate and uh, fun to have around for it. So yeah, that I very much, I very much, I very much approve of having your good old lightning bolt caster around. Okay, so zo 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 zo. Build the diesel generator. So that's pipe generator pipe, and I think I'm going to give that just a couple of spaces, like. We'll build it right here. And then I recall that the generator is like a T-shape, like so. And then it's like, yeah, three pipes forward. The sides with the rest of the scaffolding. And like, then it's a solid wall of radiator. And then the generator blocks are like, um, let's see here. Uh, did I forget to bring a redstone engineering block? I guess I did, but that's no big deal. But yeah, then it's like, uh, yeah, just in the center there. Like so. All the rest heavy engineering blocks. And then a plus shape right on top. And that should do it. Unless I'm misremembering. Nope. Not misremembering at all. So wheat. Alrighty then, so... How to get the power out of this thing? Uh, because I don't have another capacitor. Hmm. Okay, so... I think we'll just relay over to here. Like, I'll just put a relay right... Nar. And then... We'll just have... I think it'll have to be two connectors and a relay over here. Up to there. And then... It can be like there, to there, to there, to... All the way downtown. Over there. Wait, am I already linked? I am, I am. Huzzah. Cool. Alright, so that should work. Emphasis on the should. And, uh, yeah, when we get... When we get Kimberlite mining, I'll just make another capacitor on there and I'll kind of mirror the setup over here. And then when we finally get uh, comparators, I can make proper redstone control for these. Not that it particularly matters. I just like to have it. Okay, so now 
in order to make this thing safe. Let's see here. I have the wool box all the way down here. We might as well just go off that system. So, kind of make a similar situation. Oh, I need two filters on these things. Right, right, right. Okay, cool. Well, we already determined that we have a free filter in terms of bar. I have never played Shadowrun or Cyberpunk. <laughs> I've played... I, I, I've not played very many tabletop games. I mostly played D&D. &D. Not that either of you asked me. Just button in as the guy on the actual stream, you know. Alright, so need to make another one of those real quick. And just like so, make filter. Ooh, yeah, Rogue Trader is fun. Fun and why do I have this in my bag? How long has that been in the bag? Hmm. Unknown, unknowable. So it goes. All right, so one space up and in. Cool. So now we just make the automation for this real quick. Two of these, two of these, and two of these. Dupe. And a plug, just for the sake of priorities. Into dupe, into dupe, and then dupe into dupe with a dupe. Cool. So now all I need to do is get a couple of clay pipes. Or just one clay pipe, really. So, we're gonna need a pipe there. Actually, will this properly read off of gates or do I need hoppers? I don't know. Let's try it. Come on. Connect that, please. Sweet. Okay, then down you run. Just all the way down over to there. Extractor pipe on this. with gate and pulser. Also going to need a couple of gates beside. I am running out of gates. I'll put more of those on the crafter, I think. Wow, do I really only have and gates? Huh. Yeah, need to put some more gates on the cooker. And we need to turn it daytime so I don't freeze to death. Possibly get some more tinder to put down. Sprint around for a little bit. That also helps get your body temperature up. Get some water just because. Hmm. Yeah. I, I guess... I read a modern cyberpunk book and it seemed very, um, it seemed a little woke. I didn't like the fact that style over substance was literally a part of 
the base philosophy and rules very much. Like, that seems like it's telling you how to play it, the game, you know? You should be able to customize the world so it's as realistic or unrealistic as you want. It should depend on your DM, not on, not on like, this is how you play our game. Okay, and you are going to say, contains less than 75% emit blue, sure. And you are also going to say, Contains less than 75% emits blue. Okay, so it's at least reading that it's empty. I guess we'll see that... Uh, we'll see how it works once I get it hooked up. And you are going to say on blue signal pulse. Oh, shoot. That needs a pipe plug. Yeah, I think I'm talk. I think that was that was what it was called, Cyberpunk Red, maybe. Is that considered the redheaded stepchild of the series? Because of the reasons that I was talking about. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, let's let that fill up for a little bit. I'm also going to need to go and grab my fluid pipe. Because I think we're just about ready to turn this system on. Yeah, it must be well known for that. If just me mentioning a couple of outside facts is immediately getting people going, Oh, you're talking about red. Hmm. And is Red considered a good one, or is it considered a betrayal of the series? Because from what I was reading, I wasn't very enamored with it. It might very well be that that's the reasoning behind the name. I don't know. Oh, that's using fluid pipe. Okay, sweet. Okay. So are you... Ah, good, it's controlling correctly. Okay, so I don't need hoppers on it. I might want hoppers on it, just so it has more buffer storage. Okay, and we can just kind of run that down. So we... Okay, we've doubled our power production. Awesome! Okay, so that's goal achieved. Two diesel generators running in parallel. So, I think that this is going to be our wrapping up point. We got a bit accomplished today. Even though my uh, my secondary project didn't pan out because I forgot that it required Super Diamond. We're close to getting that resolved. Now that we have two diesel generators running. Uh, why the big space between? Because eventually I'm going to want to run a comparator off of this. So that's going to need like... Okay, to, to run a comparator off of this, I'm out of building blocks. Let's pick up just a stack of cobblestone and prettify it. Let's see, what am I using for my building blocks pattern? Uh, I think I was just using these tiles. Let's see, eventually I'm going to put a comparator on this. So, it's going to need one space for the comparator there. Then redstone has to run off of it. 
Then I think it needs to go down here, over here, and then over here. So yeah, I built it a little bit farther apart than it needed to be. But uh, I was just kind of blindly guesstimating anyway. But yes, eventually, eventually, um, this will be controlling itself off of its, um, off of its capacitor once I have comparators. Okay, so we've doubled our power output. We have, uh, we've got the infrastructure in to start automating thermionic fabricators, and that is pretty big. Because uh, making those super diamonds, that's going to be done in a bunch of thermionic fabricators. So, that's going to be really easy to set up. Our next project, now that we have more power, and we don't have to worry so much about it chewing into the, um, chewing into the copper excavator. If we go and look at the copper excavator, we should be seeing it run at full time all the time now. Uh, da, 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 if the game will stop lagging. Yeah, if we if we go and look at our at our good old friend the copper excavator, we should see that it's running silky smooth and constant. These power lines, they keep breaking. Why do they keep breaking? It's a good thing we checked on this. So it's not relating to booting, it's relating to something happening with the soil here. I guess. Something's causing these soil paths to... What the heck is happening? You think it's the villager? Eh, I guess, I guess, maybe. This isn't copper wiring, this is uh, aluminum steel wiring. But yes, you see it is running silky smooth because it is very fully powered. Even when other excavators are running, it is, it is constantly going. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll move the underground power nipple into a more auspicious position. And we'll see if that fixes it. But yes, yes, yes. We have multiple excavators running buttery smooth. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. So next up, we're going to be expanding that infrastructure a little bit. We're going to want excavators on... We're going to want to put the excavator back on redstone again. Just get that going. We're going to want excavators on, uh, let's see here, gold, uh, probably on Galena to get some silver. We're going to want an excavator on uh, Kimberlite, and that should be everything that I need. So, next episode, we'll be expanding the excavators, building some more smelteries, getting all the resources automated, and getting ready to finally, finally get some more quest progress going. So, we're getting close to exciting times. We're getting close to finally having enough infrastructure. Enough basic infrastructure. This is uh this has been wonderful news. Between episodes, I will I will um between episodes, I think I will just experiment with my settings and try and get this game running a bit smoother. Allocate some more memory, try different versions of Java, see if I can get a little bit more FPS. Until then, thank you all for joining me. Blood Devon, Fox, Computer Wizard, and Austin Supercar, if you're still in there, thank you for joining us tonight. And uh, well, we'll have enough to take the next step to getting more, Devon. Yeah. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have enough to start getting more. Everyone, thank you for joining me. Have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening, and I will see you on the next one.